Hey y'all. Hey y'all. It's so fun street. So this time we're in. Anyways. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so how was your weekend, Deasha? What'd you do? Over. Why? <laughs> 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 We can't pick a place right now. We already started. Okay. This is it. We're just going to go straight through. Okay. No stopping. Okay. So uh, how was your week? Wait, how was your weekend? It was pretty chilly, bro. Yes. I did snow a few times. Did you watch the Christmas parade? It was no. um, it was Saturday night. It was right outside of our apartment. It was right outside the house. I saw Santa. I asked him if I was on the naughty or the nice list. When was this? This was Saturday night. Wait, let me retract my Saturday night's, like, excursions. Um, Did, it was, I'm sorry, but it was literally at, like, 7 p.m. W- what were you doing at 7 p.m. <laughs> where, you, where you didn't watch the parade? The big bright lights outside of the house that shining into the windows? You didn't see any of that? Are you serious? And my room is right in front of the whole house. Yeah. I have two big windows. Yeah. I did not see any of this. Are you serious? I have, like... Are you lying to we, me? No, Are I'm not playing? even kidding. Like, I'll show you videos later. I'll pull up. We'll, I'll put one up right now of Santa Claus right outside of my window. I was just saying I was, I was in another dimension. I was like, you know, I was in another world. I, I can't believe you didn't see that. I did not see that. Because I, I feel like I, I feel like everyone on our, especially because we got emails, the sign at the top of the street saying that they were going to come and, um closed down the street we, there was a parking ban and everything we couldn't park on the street are you serious that's what the sign was saying <coughs> yes I passed it said parking ban it said parking ban december 2nd and that's what the numbers on the street was for yeah yes i thought it was just like for parking spaces no they were like you can't park here because they, we have a street ban for the parade because there's apparently there's like a whole um christmas thing they like christmas tree light up ceremony downtown so the parade goes down our block into downtown and they do like a whole it's like some small town shit right there i'm not even gonna lie like i'm it's like reminds me of whoville almost where they come together and hold hands and sing that's what i imagined it to be like I'm so sorry. I miss all of this. Literally, I really... This is how you know I'd be out of this world, y'all. I don't pay attention to nothing. Anyways, so today we're going to have a little bit of a game show. And we're going to bring two of our not only special guests, but special friends. Especially... Warp Radio runs on Charter Channel 194, Campus Channel uh, 10 here on campus. It gives Plattsburgh students an opportunity to be a radio DJ and see if that's something they have interest in for a future career path. You're listening to WARP, Charter Channel 194, Campus Channel 10, Plattsburgh. One of them. Keeping it, keeping it, keeping it, keeping it, keeping it real with the cumin. Come on up, guys. Come on up, guys. It's his show. He runs things. And we got Kai joining us. So, guys, how was your week this week? You know, what'd you do? Give us a little bit of a rundown of what you did. Uh, It's Tuesday. Um, But my week was great. I went to Mugs for the first time, and I think I'm an alcoholic now. Whoa, you went to Mugs for the first time? Mm-hmm. Listen, Mugs is where, you know, everybody from school likes to come together and just, just celebrate life. Yeah, I want to know the real truth. I've never been to Mugs either. What? What? <laughs> we have to go. I haven't done nothing. Look, y'all want to know the truth? I haven't been to Bono's. Y'all yes, you have. We went together. <laughs> yes, you have. We we went to Bono's That's afterwards. A lie. And it That's, such a lie. That's such a lie. That's such a lie. Y'all want to know the truth? I haven't been to Retro. <laughs> <laughs> they're alive, they're alive, right, they're alive. Right. I haven't been to Y'all want to know the truth? I've never left my room. Mm. But please. <laughs> Honestly, me. <coughs> but so, I haven't been to Mugs for real. 
So today, we're gonna play a little bit of a game. It's called Guess That Charge. Yay! So we're gonna pull up a few mugshot pictures. You're gonna guess what they got charged for. Um, we're gonna start with this guy. Anger issues. Okay. I don't know if that's a charge. I think that's just something that somebody might have an issue with. I don't know if you can necessarily charge them for that, but that's a good guess. We'll go aggravated assault on that one. Neck. Yeah, my my guess is going to be aggravated assault. He looks like an angry guy. Um, he kind of looks like Mr. Incredible. Something in my heart says public intoxication. Okay. But that could also go with aggravated assault. All right. Let's, uh, let's reveal the answer. Assault! Oh, all right. Nick, I would know. I would know. Johnny Bravo. The guy looked like Johnny Bravo. Yes. It yes. wasn't. It yes. wasn't Mr. Incredible. It was Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Johnny <laughs> Bravo. If you watched him. <laughs> Next is. Do you guys recognize this guy? Snoop Doggy Dog. I don't <laughs> even know who he is, bro. Can you guys guess what he might have gotten arrested for? Marijuana. Yeah, probably drug possession. That's a good guess. It was actually murder. Oh. Oh. Snoop so, killed somebody. <laughs> he was arrested for it. I'm not sure if he was trial and charged. But I, I know mean, that he was arrested for it. But, you know, a homie never snitches, so I'll keep my mouth quiet on that one. Yeah, Snoop, if you kill somebody, it's okay. We I love heard you, Snoop. Snoop snitched. Did he? Oh my god, wait, he did. Yes. He did. Yes, bro, I heard he snitched and he basically took over the record. Yeah. Wait. Snoop. I actually do remember that. Yeah. So, moving on with the next one. Um, we got this lovely lady right here. She looks a little happy to be Crack. here. Kidnapper. O okay. Public intoxication. That's All right. What I will say. This one's actually um, counts of criminal trespass <gasps> and burglary. <laughs> she actually was a thief. Moving on. That's a happy little thief. Um, we got you know it's JB. Oh. Tre it's JB. Trespassing. Okay. Wait, can I, I can I guess? <clears throat> he broke Selena Gomez's heart. <laughs> I know. Uh, I you gotta keep it. I have a Selena. I don't remember. I remember him getting arrested. Mm. I don't remember for what. So yeah. public indecency, I guess. Um, yeah, it was a DUI. <laughs> there was a couple times where he would pee in weird places, so I don't know if I. I have heard those rumors as well. I've missed that Justin Bieber. Moving era. on, we got this guy right here. That's drug possession. Theft. Theft. Yeah. It was actually fraud. So oh. you know, I would fraud. never. I would never. Um, Guess that one actually. You gotta be careful, y'all. Yeah. He probably was hitting you up in your DMs like, yo, open up, open up, open up, T B, B O A, <laughs> Chase, all that. Yes, bro. Pay your taxes and credit cards. Yeah. Unemployment. Fraud. He probably was doing that too. <laughs> Moving on. We got this lady right here. Drugs. This might be a no, hard one. Drugs. Drugs. <laughs> yeah. drugs. Drugs. It was drugs. <laughs> yeah, it was drugs. And for the last one, we got this guy right here. Seems so happy. You know, honestly, I see nothing wrong with this. Child thing. molester. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a mall Santa. Uh huh. So he actually shot his roommate twice in the ass for a hot pocket. I love the hot pocket. What hot pocket was it? Um, like I didn't do enough research on it. All I know is he's from. Uh <laughs> Louisiana. Oh. Yeah. It's always them down south. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe it was Louisiana and it was Louisville. Imagine it was but for the knows. Hawaiian Hot Pocket. Then that's, he was just, the Hawaiian Hot Pockets are just dirty, y'all. I've never had, it. the Hawaiian Hot Pocket, that's the one with the pineapple in it? No, it's just cheese. It's just called hair. Hawaiian Hot Pockets? I think so. I've um, eaten so many Hot Pockets that now I've gotten physically sick of them. Not <laughs> worth enough to like shoot my roommate in a butt, like. Imagine. No. Uh, yeah. It was, like it, was it was the last <laughs> hot pocket though. It was the last one. Costco. Burgers. What was they starving? <laughs> um, I mean, he did not look like it. So. He looked pretty happy with his. Yeah, decision. he looks pretty happy. So these people are in jail right now. Yeah, these people are mostly all incarcerated, or right. That's the right word, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, or going on like trial and court. I did find a few mug shots of recent. Homicide killers, all our age. I was like, wow. Yeah, I know I have a mugshot out there. I was looking for it when I was You have website. one? Yeah, I have a mugshot, y'all. We're going to put it up right here. Do not <laughs> find me, <it>, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it was for something petty, but I have a mugshot for real. Really? I was in handcuffs behind a police car and everything. I'm not a felon. 
I've been in the back of a police car, but it was for, a, like, a demonstration. No. But I love leaving that part out of the story. <laughs> Just being like, yeah, I was in the back of a police car. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my experience behind a police car, I thought I was gonna cry. I was just dead. You're probably just so I, mad. I was just dead. I was laughing. I was like, the police guy looking back at me, like, wondering if I'm a psycho. And I'm just like, because it was my first time. And I was, in my head, I was like, I hope they don't send no letter to my mom. I, my I hope brother. they don't send a letter to my mom. That's the most important thing about getting arrested is don't tell my mom. I was like, I, I called my twin brother to bail me out, though. Okay. Twin power. Exactly. Twin power. One phone call. My t- your twin. Yes. If I had one phone call, I'd probably call my mom. I'd probably call I'd my probably mom. be like, Mom, I messed up. Who would you call? T- I would call my father. My father would laugh at me and hang up. <laughs> my father would not even pick up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's the end of that segment. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Not to kick you out. Thank you. Can, bye. That Wait, was can really you, like, awesome. Sing for us one more time the jingle. Hey. No, sorry. This not my show. I ain't doing y'all nothing. Who needs to keep? Want to welcome you to yet another version of After Hours here on PSTV. And welcome to another installment of Talk Nerdy to Me. You look excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm freezing. I'm Lauren Weiss. And I'm Kyle Bryant. Let's take a look at today's top stories. Two minutes of the finest in news that you need to know about. And now it's time for a PSTV News special report. Gorin yeah! With two seconds left! I'm going to talk about my worst fears. I'm going to go Ooh. tsunami and spiders. I was showering once, and there was a spider that was coming down the wall, and I just, I was, t- I took my hand, and I just slapped it. I did scream after and call my roommates, but I'm also afraid of tsunamis. Um, not that it would ever come to Long Island. You sure? Isn't it surrounded by water? Well, yes, but I don't, because it's like a tectonic plate movement thing. It's like, um. it's like with the plates and most of the, like, I mean... You could have them come over to Long Island and stuff, but most of them are by, like, Japan. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's a fact I'm going to learn today. <clears throat> I have three fears. My top one are dolls. Mm. D-O-L-L-S. You didn't play with dolls when you were growing up? I used to. My brother, mm-hmm. older brother, late during Halloween month, <laughs> he turned off all the lights on a breaker took my Barbie doll, put ketchup on the bottom of her head, took her head off, put it on a pencil, and put a scary mask on and got a flashlight and chased me around the house all by myself. My parents wasn't home. It was my twin brother. He also, like, chased us too. Then it was one time he got my twin brother and dragged him into the dark. And then I was like, "Ah." I never played with dolls since. I never even watched a Chuck movie. Never, really? would never watch it. Never watch it. I'm not really into horror movies a at all. tried to take me out on a date to the movies, our first date, and we were supposed to watch Chucky. I left him there. <laughs> so I'm like, that's something I feel like I tell people, like, as soon as I meet them, like, yeah. I'm a scared of dolls and stuff like that. So I just felt like him thinking it was funny to, like, take me there was, like, okay, watch this. Now you paid for two movie tickets, and I left you there, period. Yeah. And then the second one, Definitely rats. I can't stand. Oh my rats god, or they're all. I I'll keep seeing them attack. videos of when they're like all over the city in the subway. I'm like, I just don't want to be reminded of that. Like, my dad stepped on a mouse barefoot once. He's from Jamaica now, really? so he was, he's not scared of nothing. My third fear, it's a dream actually. I basically, I always had this dream ever since I was younger. Dream, 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 dream. dream, dream. dream. Close your eyes, shut your mouth, dream a dream and get us out. Dream, 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 dream. Yeah, it's like a skeleton with a, like, a golden crown laughing at me with like fire in the background. Like, <laughs> 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 it's 
it's so real. Like it's, <laughs> and I asked my mom so much times, what does that dream mean? Like, kid you I not? look it up on the internet all the time what my dreams mean, but then I'm just like feeding into my own delusions, so like I can't listen to it. But it's a constant dream I had since I was a little kid, y'all. Is that traumatized? I feel like that's like sleep sleep paralysis. Really? Yeah. Is it is that like sleep paralysis? Yeah. Like if you have the, if you have the same reoccurring dream. Ever since like Out for to a the whole audience, decade. Anybody? Oh, when you physically... So if it's like a reincarnate dream, but it has to mean something. It's for a decade. I always thought, thought that that was like... You believe in ghosts? Yes, girl. I thought... When I was younger, I thought that I saw Michael Jackson's ghost. Kid you not, <laughs> in my hallway. Mm-hmm. I swear to you. Miranda Cosgrove. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do cuss a little. But yeah. I know I'm weird. My fears are weird a little. But that's because I like to get weird. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um. All right. Well, I guess we're closing up this episode of Sofa on the Street. We'll catch you guys in our last episode, hopefully. Sofa on the Street. Per. Per. Right, you want fine. us to start this far apart? I think it's I guess funny. we can do that. That's, that's fine. Funny. I think it's kind of okay. funny.